Hello friends, welcome to a fresh new episode of our channel RG Innovations. If you have not subscribed already, please subscribe to our channel, click on the bell button and select all to get all future notifications of our video uploads. In today's project, we are going to build a repeat after me or a LED memory game with an Arduino. Since we are going to build the project on a breadboard, so we need obviously a breadboard and Arduino Uno compatible board or whatever Arduino versions you, can, you have you can use with that. We need a few jumper cables, maybe 10 to 12 numbers, a few push buttons. I have push buttons with uh, color knobs. If you have you can use or if you do not have you can use bare push buttons like this. So four of them, four different colors, four different color LEDs. If you do not have different color LEDs, you can use same color LEDs, no problem. But different colors look good on the project. We need four 220 ohms resistance for limiting the current of the LED. We need one buzzer. You can use any type of buzzer available with you. These buzzers are very cheap, maybe 10 to 15 rupees. Uh, we have one servo motor, a micro servo and we have one flag built on a stick with a paper pasted on it and also a few jumper cables for using on the breadboard. So these are the components that we need to build the project that uh, memory game or repeat after me game. Now let us start building the project. So I am keeping everything aside. Now, I will start building the project. So first, I will connect the push buttons. I have a link for the circuit diagram in the description box. You can download it from there. I do not have a yellow cap for the push button. So I am using a white cap instead. So I connected the buttons. Now I will put the LEDs. So I have inserted the LEDs. Now I will connect the buttons and the LEDs with the power rail. Now we need to connect the current limiting resistances for the LED. Let me bring it a little closer so that you can see it clearly. So I connected the resistances. Now here I put the buzzer. Now I will wire up everything with the Arduino Uno. So connection for the LEDs and the buttons are done. Now we will connect the buzzer. 
the buzzer is connected with pin number 10 and 12 so we will connect it accordingly to pin number 10 and 12 now we will connect the ground power supply to the breadboard and the remaining is the servo so we will connect the servo wire with the arduino the red wire of the servo is the positive power supply the brown wire is the ground power supply and the orange pin is the pwm so we will connect it with the 5 volt power supply on the arduino ground to the arduino and the pwm pin with pin number 11 so our connection is complete now we will fix the flag with the servo we can fix it with glue here i am not fixing it with a glue i will fix it with tape so that while disassembling i can easily remove the flag from the servo the flag is now fixed with the servo motor now we have to upload the sketch to the arduino so i am connecting it with computer it's connected now we will upload the sketch on the arduino so let's move on to the computer screen this is the arduino sketch it's a bit long but it's well commented so if you need to change or any modify anything you can uh, do the modification now i will let's see the arduino i'll select the board arduino you know is already selected here then i'll select the port it's com 10 it's also selected so now we upload the code it's compiling done compiling uploading and uploading is done you see as soon as the uploading is done a large noise is coming from the project let us first move on to the project you see so nice animation of the leds is happening and the buzzer is making a large noise it is because the polarity of the buzzer is wrong so we will take the buzzer off turn it to the correct polarity and insert it again on the breadboard and you see the noise is now gone now we will start playing the animation is going on this is the intro animation this means the device is ready to play we have to hit any button to start the game so i am pressing here the game started I pressed a wrong button so the flag dropped you see so nicely this looks very interesting when you are playing this so again the intro animation is going whenever I press any button the flag will rise and the game will start I lost again this has 12 levels of difficulty you can adjust it in the program the steps you want to play you can play it with your friends you can play it with your brother or sister you can play it with your family members this is very interesting game you can check how much memory power you have So today we we'll conclude here with this video. If you like my video, please hit the like button and please do not forget to subscribe my channel so that I get more encouragement to build new videos for you. We will meet again in a new video. Till then, bye bye, take care, have a nice time and again thank you for watching.